I'm going to go through the Rode Wireless Pro Kit. Two of the main components are the pair of transmitters. Each transmitter has a built-in mic at the top, as well as a 3.5 millimeter port into which you can insert a lavalier mic, also known as a, a PAL mic. Of course, the transmitters would be useless without the receiver that receives sound signals from each transmitter, one or both transmitters. The transmitter is the device that would be connected to a recording device of some kind, whether a smartphone, field recorder, or computer. As I understand, this kit can also record directly to the device. Um, each transmitter has a record button on the top. Pressing that record button will turn on the recording indicator that I'll show later. The next kit item is this charging case that houses each transmitter and the receiver. TX is the universal abbreviation for transmitters. RX is the universal abbreviation for receivers. The charging case has a port on the back that lets you charge all three components at once. The next kit item is this case for all of the accessories that come with it. That includes one TRS to TRS cable. This cable would connect into the receiver. The 3.5 millimeter port on its side and then the other end would go into a recording device that has a 3.5 millimeter port that's dedicated for input. So most cameras Another kit component is this magnetic clip. There's only one. The way it works is you would press the belt clip for one of the transmitters. You'll notice that the, the backing of the mag clip has two prongs. That fits nicely with the three notches at the edge of the belt clip. And then the magnetic component would just go attached to the, the backing. So this is useful for placing on someone's clothing or accessories. This kit also comes with two windscreens for the, each of the transmitters. The design is a bit uh, more intuitive, more user-friendly than the Road Go. Basically the bottom of the fur windshield's got this ring and around the built-in mic there's a Circular notch, basically you just pull back the fur, press the ring into that notch around the built-in mic, then twist clockwise to lock it into place and it's much more stable compared to the Rogue Go. Now this kit seems to have a third party fur windshield, so I don't know if it's compatible. Just be mindful that the kit components might vary from kit to kit. I mentioned lavalier mics, also known as lav mics. This kit includes two. This one seems to be missing its wind socket, but it would go into the appropriate port on the top of the, the transmitter. The kit also comes included with a USB-C 
to lightning cable for use with iOS devices. And the kit also has a pair of USB-C to USB-C cables. That would be for charging as well as for file transfer, if applicable. And of course, the kit comes with a sturdy carrying case. For the sake of simplicity, I'll just show how to use this kit assuming that's going to be connected to a recording device. I'm not going to show how to use the transmitters as standalone recorders. So first, long press the receiver. The receiver, again, has got the digital display. Power button is on the top. Long press it for two seconds. The display will turn on. Then for the transmitter or transmitters that you'd like to use. Long press the power button. It's on the bottom. The indicator light at the bottom and in the top left will turn on to indicate that they're turned on. You can also verify that they're turned on and paired with the receiver by the display. S is for the battery indicator of the receiver and then each transmitter, if they're turned on, will have their battery levels as well. There's volume meters for each of the three devices, or well, two of the devices. So I'm just going to tap the built-in mic of one of the transmitters. You can tell by the indicator I'm tapping the volume for transmitter one. I'm going to do the same for transmitter two. I'm just going to demonstrate the recording. So as I mentioned, the record button for each transmitter is on its top. If you press it, the rec button, the rec indicator light will turn on and it will be red. On the bottom of the receiver, there's two buttons. They have slightly different functions. If you press the left button from the home screen, it will allow you to adjust the gain. The gain is a representation of the change to volume. So it's a bit counterintuitive. So once you're in the, the gain menu, you can press the two buttons to increase or decrease as needed. So right button to increase the gain or the boost or reduction of volume. It really depends on the speaker. Maybe the middle value, minus 12 or minus 12, 15 decibels, is a good starting point. Ultimately, you want to avoid the volume hitting that extreme edge, getting into the yellow and red. Because at that point, the volume will be uncomfortably loud. It's more susceptible to irreversible distortion. So whether you're using the built-in mic or a lav mic, you want to place that mic about one hand length away from the speaker, no closer than one fist length. So maybe at the base of the collar, near the collarbone, maybe as low as where the lapel would be. I would recommend getting the wearer, the person using the transmitter, to just maybe say the alphabet in their usual voice and then adjust the gain as needed. From the home screen, you press the right button on the bottom. It will take you to the mode selection screen. Once you're in this screen, you can press the left button to toggle between dynamic and auto. I would recommend auto as a good starting point. Dynamic allows um, a wider range of volumes. That's better if you have a controlled environment and you know what uh, the sounds will be. Auto is good if you just want to let the system try to match the gain as appropriate. Uh, once you're in the screen, you press the right button to switch to the other transmitter, if applicable. And you can toggle between auto and dynamic mode as well. 
once you've gotten to the second transmitter, you press the right button again. There's one press, two to select for the second transmitter, and then three to switch the gain mode. In the gain mode, you can use the left and right buttons to toggle between which recording mode, whether you're using a camera, just headphones for listening, headset for listening and recording, or just general gain setting, and you press the right button to set if necessary. That's really it for the Rode Wireless Pro system.